I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think, I think it's dumb people talking about, about smart, smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and uh, today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees. Our price hikes and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's start the show. Uh, Doodoo Herm is here. Yeah. Big Wax Tramp Lactus. Uh, <laughs> how was everybody's week? Weekend? Good, good. This shit goes listen, by so fucking listen. fast, man. Yeah, man. man for real. You got shows this weekend? I'm taking this weekend uh, just in the city. But it's last weekend. Did yeah, you I was in Montreal. Oh, really? I was down in the Bahamas for uh, my girl's uh, friend's wedding, and then I, then I flew up to Montreal, which is a phenomenal city. Y'all should go to Montreal. Have you spent time in Montreal? No, I've been to Vancouver and Toronto. Take your wife to Montreal. Really? Yeah, it's like, it, you know how there's there's few unique cities in the world, mm -hmm. and uh, meaning like, like you go to New Orleans, and you're mm -hmm. like, oh, this is fire. Yeah, everybody You naked. guys have spent time in New Orleans. Yeah. Yes. I went there, uh, people just walking around naked. It was like a normal thing. It was just, it's just so unique and it like is. random and like kind of cool and funky. Yeah. That is Montreal, not necessarily titties, but it's like this European city, like within Canada. People are speaking French and shit. There's these all different accents. The food is really interesting. Yes. Maybe we were in Montreal then. I know we mm -hmm. was in, we were somewhere in Montreal where a lot of people spoke French. And, in Canada. Um, you were somewhere in Canada where a lot of people were French. You said Montreal. Oh, yeah, somewhere yeah. in Canada. I mean, that, was, um, that was a wee-wee place? Huh? Wee-wee. <laughs> what did you talk about? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how they talk, wee-wee. Yeah. <laughs> Could be talking about dicks. I don't nah, know. Yeah, no, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you put those together? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But I remember yes. wherever we was at, they were telling me about Charlemagne, and Charlemagne was a, uh, a, um, a, a leader in the Haitian Revolution. Okay, I do remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they were telling me. They was like, Charlemagne was a general. He was a leader in the Haitian Revolution. They were asking me, Did that, is that how I got my name? And I was like, uh... Yeah. Okay. Eh, the <laughs> European one, sorry. But I will take that one, okay? <laughs> that one, yeah, you got to say yeah. you named after the black guy. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah that's way better. That's, that was how about you, place. man? How was your weekend? Weekend was good, man. <laughs> Friday, uh, Friday, I was in Harlem. Um, at the Wagner Projects, uh, my guy Robert Smith, salute to Robert Smith. Robert Smith is the richest black man in America. Yes. Sorry for all of y'all who think it's Kanye West, but Robert Smith is the richest black man in America. But mm. he's, uh, the reason I like Robert is because he's one of those people who's always using his resources for good. Mm. And he does it not expecting any fanfare. I mean, you've been rich that long. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Nothing to you. You've been pouring into so many people mm. and so many things for so long. People don't even know what it is you do yeah. when you're at that level. So he actually launched the Robert F. Smith mobile prostate screening facility. Which so it's is great. basically a prostate screening facility on Wheels. In Harlem? Yeah. Hey, so, yeah. yo. Balls, right? <laughs> yo, yo, Robert Smith Wait, listen, is brave, I, son. If you hear about you how it is. Out, who holds in Harlem? Yo, yo, the funny part, the funny part, when I posted the pictures online, the comments is like, Oh, the finger mobile came through. <laughs> 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 they was like, "Oh, y'all got the finger on wheels truck." Man, that, like, that's why what he's doing is amazing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but the best, bro. But it was me, Steve Harvey, uh, Cedric the Entertainer, Chris Tucker. Oh, sick. Yeah, and um, you know, the, the, the thing about it though, you don't have to get fingers. Amen. It starts with blood first. Yes. So it starts with your blood test. Okay. And if you if if something if you if some I can't remember exact the exact term, but something if, is off. If something then they in get your blood level, high. then they yeah. take it to the next level. Yeah. Well, thank so, God for And then what Smith. comes after finger? No more fingering. It's just uh, blood. Oh, uh, okay. So he's amazing. Yeah. So I mean, you know, you gotta really trust your doctor, because what if your doctor thinks you're cute? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> But hold on, it's I heard about finger. the blood test, I man. No, it's a finger. But no, it's a blood. It's something in your blood. What is that? You have blood in your finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's looking you up and down. Yeah, this blood don't look right at all. <laughs> but no, them prostate screens is real, man. You know. Did you, um, did you get one? No, not yet. I'm getting one. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I was trying to wait till 45. That's what they, they said. said. Why wait? Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and do it. You, you know? think it have blood on the finger when the um, um, guys do it? Depends if they no cut idea. their nails. I don't know how deep they go. <laughs> I could care less, though. You can finger me all day if it's going to save my life. Can you? <sighs> yes. What if you're falling off a building and someone just grabs you by your <laughs> asshole? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you put that thumb way up in that motherfucker. I got you. Grip that. Grip that. <laughs> what, is, what would be my G spot? Whatever oh, makes you look coming to American Pie and bring me back. Yes. 
God, I sniff his thumb after that. If you save my life, I'm about to fall off a building. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. Is, is certain things that happen to you you don't care about living no Hell more? Hell no. Huh? Is certain things You're happen. falling off a building and someone grabs you. No, I'm just saying, if somebody put, like, they say if um, I heard a crazy clip that is, is like. All right, how about this? Let's say you're ahead. falling off a building, right? Uh -huh. And the person, right? It's almost like some Spider Man shit. Oh, three people are falling off a building, right? All right. The person grabs one person with one arm, grabs the other person with one arm, right? You fall off. You just happen to be naked. I'm running away from somebody, smash my wife or something. No, 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 no. Yeah, you were doing that. Yeah. yeah. But, and then he grabs you by your dick. How? He got two hands like this. Exactly. And then he keeps those people. He has to use his mouth. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so he has to use his mouth. Would you allow that to stay alive? And would you try to say you harder better. so that he has a better grip? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you, better, you know what? Yo, Jesus always saying. come through a, a mysterious and he time. He works in mysterious ways. He with do. mysterious mouths. <laughs> For real. The word coming out the mouth. That's I need right. the word the to come rain. out. <laughs> his, his mouth will be full. <laughs> I don't care. I'm, there's nobody on this planet that committed the homophobia. What? Wait, wait, wait. There's, there's, no, this is good. there's this is nobody good. on the planet that committed the homophobia. What, what, what do you mean? So somebody <laughs> said... Great segue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, so, so you're telling me right now, somebody said to stay alive, somebody got to smash you. You want to feel like you already dead? That's the basic smash scenario. Is that's crazy. Yeah, we're we not talking about we're not. We're talking about just save, save your life lives. by sucking your He's dick He's got two cocks in his hand building. and the only thing he can do it is his mouth. Yeah. Because so, he wants it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this guy's unbelievable. Yeah, right. Right. Who is this guy? He's a different level superhero. You know, <laughs> Marvel wants more inclusivity. <laughs> he's a different My arm level. longer. They, uh, you know, but he grabs other superhero. people with these arms, and he has a crazy long tongue. He could, uh, like a frog, he goes there, wraps like it around this. your dick, and then just hangs Ooh, you off the I side like of the this. building. I like this. You know what? Whatever God wanted me to do at that time is it. That's you right. That's, time. That's a hard vision. I wish I could draw. Imagine wax. Big black ass hanging from somebody's tongue. None of y'all draw that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the dude from the mutants? What's the dude from X-Men? The frog, Frogger, right? Isn't it a frog or somebody? Toad? Toad. Yeah, toad, toad. Yeah. Oh, somebody God. draw a Toad with his tongue wrapped around Wax's dick holding him from falling off a building. <laughs> to save your life so you could be with your loved ones. I respect that. Yeah. The moral yeah. of the story is go get your prostate checked, people. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's really the moral of the story. Go get your process. So at 40, yeah, you saying now? It, yeah. It said 43. It used to be 50, but they uh, reduced the age to 45. I don't yeah. think a lot of people know that. Why? They did. They didn't do That's a good job said. marketing it. Because it's been 50 for so long. No, no. Why they reduced it to 45? Oh, because your people are getting it earlier. Mm -hmm. Like, you're more prone to get it. Like, I mean, our good friend, That's Combat Jack, food, got right? today. Combat got it. I mean, well, by the time he caught it, he was 47. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he probably he had it for a He was stage four by then, right? Yeah. So there's no... Yeah, he might have had it for a couple of years. I might got to get that shit now. What, what you think it. is the food? Maybe. I don't you think know it's what the food? it is, man. Look at Chadwick Boseman. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He died of prostate cancer. That shit is real, and it's so preventable. So for me, it's just like, okay, if I got to go be uncomfortable, get a finger in my butt, but whatever it is, I'm going to do it. To stay alive for another yeah. 30, but, but, 40 what, years. What about, what about the stuff what they put the, the water? What does the finger do? Why, why can't they just look in there? Why can't I just hold my hey, what about What about the fucking camera? Can yeah. you camera. see more than the camera? Either way, something's going in your ass. Yeah, but what is different than a guy just... Certain I can care less. It's you your should. Doctor. That's like I our mean, GYN gir g girls that aren't lesbians go and GYN prize all in the vagina. Play, we kiss what do you mean girls that aren't lesbians? Lesbians do it too. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? <laughs> girls who don't like girls playing and they stuff go to the GYN. Yeah. But you the know? girl is okay. Girls just, they get licking around each other. It's different. I think it's context of gay, bro. It's what? <laughs> it's context to gay. Yes, of course. So if I'm at the doctor getting my prostate checked, there's nothing gay about it. No, there's nothing like, come gay. Come on, like, what are we talking no, about? No, you just feel violated, period. I you wouldn't. I feel free. And I'll tell the world, <laughs> hey, you, man, I just got my <laughs> prostate checked. Would you hold your own legs up? If I had to. Would you say, <laughs> uh, hands on the knees and the things and the doctor? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got to put that with the loose on. What, your, what, what's the hands thing up called? high, your what, back what? down low, now high. Draw it to the flow. <laughs> 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 what is going on? I got nothing to do with this. <laughs> That's what happens when the booty wagon comes around Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a big booty wagon, too. <laughs> nah, his shit is fly. Robert Shirt shit is fly. He got Matumbo on the side doing this shit? No. Really? <laughs> You got TVs in there, though. You yeah. gonna be comfortable. No, you do got TVs. Really? You do got TVs in there. You, you Yo, I like it when, um, when rich people try to get into a how many lives can we save contests. That's yeah. what they're here for. Like, That's what they're here for. Yeah, Word you got up. all the money yeah. in the world. You can't Word really up. get, you can get more money, but at what point does it really change your life? And you're like, wait a minute, I people. could use this to, it's like, you're almost like trying to be an angel. Are you like, are. how many people 
you think that he'll save their lives with the booty mobile? A lot. A lot. A lot. Because it, it makes it easier, man. A lot of a lot of people don't like to go to the doctor. So when you pull up to them, mm. they'll go motherfucking, you know, yeah, they, 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 yeah. they, they got to have a dude just standing right outside going, hey, yo. And when every person comes out, <laughs> hey, hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo, thank you for getting checked. Hey, yo, thank you for hey, getting checked. Hey, yo, you're Paul. next. Paul. Hey, yo. <laughs> the hey, yo, mobile. Yo, you need to have a guy right there. I, it, it's called the pause 100%. mobile. Oh, man. The pause mobile. You know what's so funny, Steve? We need, we need spider cuz. You know spider cuz? Oh, that dresses in the spider man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need spider cuz. You remember spider cuz for yeah, the, the sketch. Uh, we'll drop that this week, but That's we need him nice. right outside. That's the first thing Steve said. What he said? First thing Steve said was, look at it now. He said, we 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 got to have the language, man, because you know it's 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 the finger. Our <laughs> people scared of that finger. We are, yes, man. He, you know, and Steve has had several, you know, yeah. prostate screeners, but he understands. Yes, people are afraid of that uncomfortable position, but I'd rather be uncomfortable than <laughs> Yo, be dead for something that I can prevent. He said you yes. have to bend over. I don't know how you. I don't know how they do it. That's so it's either legs up or bent over. It Yo, don't matter gay, though. Legs up is wild. Bent over, wow. Nah, bent over. You trying your sneaker. Face down, ass up, nigga. <laughs> like, face you know, down, ass up. Face down, ass up. Face like, down, ass up. You bend over so many more times in life than you stick your legs That's up right. in the air. Like, yeah. That's right. Come on, bro. This shit right here, you going to do that and let a man... Yeah. You going to make eye like, contact? You got to see him in the face? You no going to make eye contact while a dude fingers you, bro? Yo, I wonder, oh, I wonder oh, if somebody, man. like, punched the fucking uh, doctor after they did it. Yeah, because they didn't know what, what the they were going in for. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know. He he just just you you had to go that high. I wish every man in the world heard A.O. and they bend over. <laughs> Just so they know how regular they bend over. Every time they bend over, hey, hey yo, yo. He step right down. He gonna step down. <laughs> Yo, that'd dude, be a funny The ass guy step. standing right outside going, hey, yo, it's so funny, dude. Oh, that's yo, hilarious. Yo, you know how many people probably went in there and about to get it done? Like, nah, yeah, next yeah, time. I'll do I it can. next time. I can't. I'll do it again. There's no way I'm doing it the first time. Yeah. Gonna Look take at me the like, digital rectal exam. Oh, digital meaning your fingers. I'm thinking yeah. some fucking internet yeah, I thought shit. the internet. Yeah. You yeah. put your fucking ass I'm on the computer screen. I'm out here getting screen. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what is the digital rectal exam? I don't know. Yo, look at them gloves. Those some different gloves. Man. Oh, that's just like a colonic. Yeah, I don't know about all that. that oh, come on, weird. man. Man, weird. you'd rather that or die. No, no, no. not about dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold we on, gonna hold get on. It done. Why they got all this fucking other technology? You got fucking phones that I could get some. Look, 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 look. He getting in there. I'd rather get some. That's go. right, that's right, that's right. Put the lube on. That's right. Uh, just Let's use go, saliva, baby. bro. That's Old right. fashioned. No. That's right. <laughs> Who are the people that's doing it? <laughs> Doctors. Okay, people that you need to go see on a regular basis. That ain't much, man. Get in there, get in there. Get in there. Oh, no, he's still going. Oh, oh shit. Hey. Oh, he's trying to touch wall. Easy, oh, easy, oh, easy. Oh, easy, he curved easy. the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. One time. Oh, no, he's he going. too much, Oh, that's a tickle. Yeah. That's a tickle. I like that. I like that. Okay. Hey, yo. Yeah. I'm doing it. <laughs> that tickle I'm doing is it. Crazy. That's a, that's a hell of a tickle. Bro. I'm getting bricked up right, right now. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> what is that right there? Did that mean something? What do you mean? Was that mean something? Oh, he was too gentle with that. Yank it out quick, fam. You know Don't the most embarrassing thing? No, the most embarrassing getting thing. Getting wiped. No, <laughs> not getting wiped. <laughs> No, that is embarrassing too. Yo, like, come on, imagine man. Just, you can't like, let another man wipe you no, as an what adult, you man. <laughs> Yo, get out of here. So when he wild. pulling the glove out, he got mad shit on his fingers when he grabbed two wipes. No. And he wipes you a lot. God yeah, damn. Yeah, you got to wipe yourself before you go get How some How do you rectal. feel when you get out of it? I need to know. I need to talk healthy. to these guys. Yeah, you do feel healthy. Healthy. Safe. You better go get Safe. your prostate check. You know what I know. Fuck that. Yeah. Healthy. Yo, Can listen. we videotape you getting your prostate no. check? I, I want to do the um the thing with the Prost the camera. Prost yeah. What? The, your stomach, the water. What? The colonic. I mean, not the colonic. The yeah, uh, hydrocolonic. No, the other. Oh yeah, the colonic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's that. I want cool. those. Yeah. Twenty. You I want what, you want you want liquid inside you in your butt. You want you want. They're saying that prevents stuff. That's, in that's gayer, something. fam. It's like someone nothing. You. Best relief ever. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yo, no, 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 no. Just no. saying. Best that's, relief, yo. that's wild gay. Someone inserts some shit and then you never going to do it? Then they say you got clean. You got I clean. did it, bro. I had mad colonics. I got like six of them because they told me I had to go <laughs> in the road. Now, six is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the best, me. the best <laughs> release ever because she had the toilet <laughs> right next to the place. So after she oh, does it, shit. oh my God, you just go in there, yeah. she had the squatty potty where you had to put your legs yep. up like that. Yeah, yeah. Dump. Yeah, dump. Big dump. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. Amazing. You ever sit in a jacuzzi, you just put your butthole over the jet? Never. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> you know Sometimes you got to do the hydraulic with Kalani. Y'all probably That's what hydraulic thing is. Is. Is, is, bro. Put your hands up, how your ass down low. Drop Just it. in the jacuzzi, dropping that mm-hmm. shit in front of the That's goddamn... That's Obamacare, bro. Probably why I never got it. Say again? You must have some fancy insurance, though. All right, listen, I want to talk about... Uh, I, I want. I do want to talk. I want to have a continuation of a conversation we had last week because we didn't really dive in depth. But I saw Coach of Millennium post about it. Okay, and co- it was just a brief mention. And uh, we were this, we were talking about Chris Rock, and I said Chris Rock is better at stand up than Dave. Ah, uh, and um, Coach Millennium posted it, and I salute to Coach Millennium. They post a lot of brilliant idiot stuff, and I saw hey, y'all see, y'all, like you. mad people in the comments. Acting like what I said was crazy, was insane. But then I, I had to take a step back and I realized it's a different generation. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. the same generation that will say Kodak Black, who I love, it's is better, better than, than Jay-Z. Or Jay-Z, Or two, yeah. any of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, matter of opinion. Yeah. But you think, relate to. when it comes to things like stand-up, the reason it's not a matter of generational opinion is because these people are all over 50 years old. Mm-hmm. And these people all have, you know, years of, of, of catalog, right? Mm-hmm. Simply saying, because I saw all the people in the, in the comments saying stuff like, oh, Dave Chappelle's got the TV show. And I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that stage. Stand up, yeah. I'm talking about the art of stand-up. Yeah. Dave Chappelle does not have a better catalog than Chris Rock. Yeah, I also think you prefer the style of stand-up that Chris Rock does. Absolutely. And uh, the style of stand-up that Dave does is, like is a little bit different. Yeah. There, He does incorporate a lot of stories and mm-hmm. like, I mean, they're both brilliant, right? We're like splitting hairs here. Like, if somebody yeah. came up to you and they're are like, we? Right. "Yeah, what stand up are Ten, we?" Different it depends. Styles, it, it, it depends on what you like. You mm-hmm. know, what I'm like yeah. if somebody came up to me, and they're like, "Dave Chappelle's my favorite." I'm not saying that they're an idiot for no, that. No, no, I, go, yeah. I completely understand. I love Dave. Dave's incredible. Yes. Uh, stylistically, my favorite is Patrice. I came into the to the game really through Chris. But Chris, you know, Chris, Patrice was Chris guy too. Yeah, of course. Chris, I remember. I, I Patrice forgot what, is everybody's guy. I like, forgot what interview it was. Chris was like, if Patrice was still alive, we'd all be working for Patrice. Yeah, it, Patrice is everybody's guy. If you really love stand up, Patrice is is your guy. Um, but the thing that that Chris does is Chris really thinks in bits and like you're so natural and conversational. But I known you for so long, like you, your brain works in bits, mm-hmm. and you really love the ideas in these and and like interesting kind of devil's advocate point of view and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm, so I yeah. think you really relate to Chris in the same way. I really relate to Chris. A lot of people relate mm-hmm. to him. Obviously, Dave recently is so much more, um, has so much more cultural connectivity. It's been a while since Chris dropped there a special where oh, we were all like, go. oh my God, every fucking joke is straight haymaker. But when we were growing up and we saw the bigger and blacker, we saw bringing the pain, it Kill was like- the messenger, never mm-hmm. scared. Like this guy was just on a fucking yes. tear. So, and maybe this is the impetus for him getting back on his shit. By the way, wow. I love Tambourine, especially the extended cut. Interesting. Called Total Blackout. Yeah. And I rewatched it I didn't this watch weekend. It. I didn't watch it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, no, no. Oh, no. man. I rewatched it this weekend because I, what you said is exactly what I know. I'm like, they've seen more of Dave yeah. in recent times. Yeah. And Dave dominates the headline. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Dave will tell you he feels like Chris Rock is better. Is that right? He said it, but then Chris will say, nah, Dave's Chris will better. say Dave yeah. is better. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like they have a lot of mutual Mike respect Tyson. this season. As they I should. Yeah, I'm as they should. I like Sticks and Stones better than Dave's last special. Mm-hmm. And um, I, 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 I do have maybe Sticks and Stones slightly over Tambourine. Interesting. But when, when we're talking about total stand-up catalog that mm. still holds up, mm. it's not even close. Like, yeah. just go watch wow. Kill the Messenger. I, go no, watch Bring the Pain. Go watch Never Scared. I think if you look at, like, the first two hours of, of Dave, they're unbelievable. Killing Me Softly? Killing Me Softly, like Killing me for softly. what it's worth, are, are, are truly incredible. And, like... I don't think Killing Me Softly better than Bring the Pain, though. Bring the Pain is so... It's really tough to... <laughs> it's really tough for anybody to be <laughs> Bring the Pain. It's one of the best comedy specials in I'm history. Saying. Like, And I really think... I hope that people go back and watch it, especially yes. generations now that, like, aren't even familiar with the, like, early Chris Rock. Yes. Because it was like, he was on a warpath. Like a warpath, dude. And that's why we're not going to allow Chris to be reduced to what happened at the Oscars. Of course. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and I I think a lot of that factors in it too, sadly. That's just the era that we're in. We're in an era where people care about everything except for what you actually do. Yeah, 100%. I think think if you like, like, blunt in-your-face comedy... You probably like Chris yes. more if if you're into story. Sto- if you're into like yeah. these brilliantly crafted stories mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. 
hidden meaning that kind of comes yeah, out yeah, as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. then you're going to like, you're going to like Dave. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I could see how Dave has more of like a universal appeal because he can bake in like the, the thoughtful uh, idea into something that's a little bit more like cartoonish. It's like one of the reasons why the sketch show did so well yeah. because it's like the, the sketch allows you to be playful about something really serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But don't worry about it. Whereas Chris is like, the first lady should be the first woman on her knees sucking, sucking a dick. dick yeah. And it, yeah. I don't know, if you're from New York, it's like, that's how we talk, that's how we think. This Relatable is, shit. It is what it is. And mm -hmm. I'm sure the Northeast kind of like that. I don't know exactly down South if, if you guys- It was, because that, 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 that warped my perception. Of what? Of the women. Because <laughs> in my <laughs> mind, I was like, that's right. I cheat because of you. Because of you. Because <laughs> <laughs> of what you're not doing. Exactly. When I heard that back in there, I was like, I wasn't Hillary, but then yeah. I was thinking like, she's busy too though. Yeah. So she gotta give tours and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He does deserve he does deserve some head every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. In my mind when I was young, that's yeah. what I thought. I yeah. thought now. I thought Yeah. yeah all right. Well, yeah, we, yeah. See what he does. No, see no, 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 Alex? <laughs> this guy's going crazy. Who is this guy? <laughs> I, love her, I just heard him yell out a form of currency. I, like, I heard him yell out a dollar about it. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Inflation, that's, bro. That's crack rock. Crazy, that's crack rock bro. prices. That is <laughs> that's crack rock prices. That's the price of crack Chill rock down south. Out. When you're addicted, okay. you're addicted, bro. When you're addicted, you're addicted. <laughs> okay? That is the price of crack rock down south. All right. Um, Louis C.K. What is this Louis C.K. win draws criticism? What was that? He won. So he won the Grammy for best album. He did? Yeah. For best comedy album. Man, that, I, I missed that one. So, and, uh, you know, obviously some people are going to be critical of it, but what I think this is a very interesting moment because it's almost like, is he back in now? You know, a lot of times the industry uses these award shows to let you know who are the future, <laughs> who are, you know, who is no longer around. Like, you stop getting uh -huh. invited to the Grammys and Oscars. That's mm, their way of going, like, yo, you ain't got it no more. Yeah. Right? But if they think that you're going to be the future, then maybe you win the award. Maybe you're part of it. So this is a really cool moment. Yeah. They're like, yo, let's... Louis back in. Mm -hmm. Was and he we'll ever see... out? Oh, yeah. They canceled. I mean, he probably, he lost tens of millions of dollars, dude. They lost... So many opportunities. He had a whole movie ready to go. They yeah. canceled that shit. Like, did he do Smack some money? No. That's interesting. I didn't. I didn't even know he had a project out that that was nominated for anything. I yeah, didn't... yeah. He put out his. Uh, he put out his special on his own platform. Like he's then, been doing. Yeah, like yeah. he's been doing. And then he also put out obviously the the audio for it, and then the Grammys acknowledged it. Now Damn, that shit must yeah. slap for them to have ignored all that other shit. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Have you heard it? <laughs> no, sir. Wow. That is the one tricky thing about releasing it only on your own platform is yeah. obviously it's harder for the average person to like realize it's out there. I didn't watch the Grammys at all. Was yeah. not interested in no way, shape, or form. I nah, was watching. I was watching the my 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 wife's alma mater, the South Carolina Gamecocks, Ooh. win the national Let's championship against the Connecticut Huskies. Man, Columbia probably I, was I didn't flip to the Grammys not one. Oh, time. I thought UConn won. No, Gamecocks won. Yeah, okay. One time for Don Staley Let's has go. more the most. National championships of any black coach ever. Black art. I was about to say black art male. Male or female. <laughs> <laughs> male or female. Good for her. One time for Don Staley. Oh, man, she's turning South Carolina into a powerhouse. And I mean, that's that's so interesting for me to see because I'm from South Carolina yeah. and I know how long we didn't have anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. You had like Clemson, but that's upstate. And Clemson has always been a college football yes. powerhouse. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're good in basketball. Right. You know, I've watched the Gamecocks go to the Final Four, the basketball yeah. team, the men's, but the women's basketball team started with, you know, Asia Wilson. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what Don and them building in Columbia is just like super yeah. special. I, know Columbia, I like yeah, it man, when crazy. I like it when colleges that don't have any pro team in proximity are yes. successful. Yes. Because those kids get to be the celebrities of that town. Oh, like, yeah. if, if oh, you hoop sure. or play Football ball in New York for a college, like, no one really nobody cares. cares. Yeah, nobody cares. You might get more love at the Ruckus. Real talk. Yeah, no real, real shit. Real talk. Real shit. Yeah. But if your college is the only game in town... Oh, they shut down the whole town. Yeah. Everything, the other thing is about... Andrew Wilson has a statue. Out, like, Let's go. She do. As she should. Like, yeah. that's... a statue in front of yeah. Colonial Life Arena. Out, out there is really dope. 
That's you that's fine. There. I like, think that's really cool. So especially with South Carolina, which there is no. I mean, y'all probably root for the fucking Hornets or some shit. If you yeah, growing up, I did. Growing up, I did because my dad's name was Larry. My middle name is Larry mm. and Larry Johnson. Yep. And then, you know, that was like the only hairstyle I could really get off at the time. So I put the part in the middle, you know what I mean, with the Hornets jersey. Yeah. So I was a Hornets fan growing That's up. That's why yeah. I was a Dallas Cowboy, because of Emmitt Smith, and I ran running back. So. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, nice I thought man. you played defense. I played office first. I played all positions. I'm an athlete. That's right. When you're younger, it's just the athletes do everything that's hard. Yeah. And then as you get older. As I got older, I still, even my highlight tape, I've played five different positions in four games. Do you have the, your highlights? Like, can yeah, we post? Can tapes. we look at that? Yeah, I, I could have some stuff. What number are you? Number number ninety one. Number ninety one. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Beast. Yeah, I want to see it. They got some fire tape. He had a he had a good uh, he had a good um good highlight tape. Yeah, he definitely cool. had a good highlight tape. Now, how much would you charge for that if somebody was to like buy that from you? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars sounds like the right amount. That's your number, huh? Yes. You gotta pay out. <laughs> <laughs> that's from selling dope. That's how you know that's your that's yeah. from selling dope. Duh. That's yeah, all it is. Yeah, I got twenty. Yeah. Give me twenty out. Yeah, I pull yeah. up to the radio station today. Whacked out a dude in front of the fucking radio station doing push ups. Because no. because it's going crazy. All these guys go crazy too much out there for me, and I can't. They're mentally it. unwell. I understand. So what you want me to do? Fight them or do it? No, do nah. some push ups. It's, it's P or P. That'd be the P or P. What? We got a wee wee. We got a pee pee. All right, keep going. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, you mean? Yeah. It's punches of push-ups. What you want oh, to do? punches of push-ups. Oh, uh, you, what you thought I was talking about? I thought it was penis or push-ups. It's though. about dick. <laughs> Man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? I, I had to go get some new gloves, and, it, and it, I call it um, uh, meat sporting goods. Because who really want to say the other word? Dick sporting goods? Yeah, I call it meat. Come on, man. Yeah, but is it meat sporting goods? <laughs> either gay or something? Stop. Stop. I call How you make it gayer, Stop. bro? What do you mean? Meats sporting goods? Stop. It's not different. Yeah, like, not. dicks is crazy. Yo, they got to call the... the wrong with dick sporting nah, goods. they got to call the different. finger mobile the dick sporting goods. Presented to you by dick sporting goods. That's fire, bro. You Meat sporting that. goods is hilarious. <laughs> meats and dicks is the same thing. Yeah. There's a different... I mean, you it's don't want to say dicks. Meats, bro. Grow no, up, meats is chill. Yeah, for real. Come on, join Soldier. Let's go back to uh, Cardi. <laughs> Let me see that Cardi B, Taylor. <laughs> Yo, what do you think about the white reggae band? I've hilarious. never heard of them until the Grammys. Hilarious. Me neither. By the way, I didn't hilarious. see none of this. What's disrespectful? I don't like it. It's hilarious. <laughs> Y'all people, wow. That's Why not? not? True. What if we're nice yeah, reggae? Music By the way, that's not if, true. If it's good, yeah, it's good. Reggae is music. Like, yo, it's, yeah, if it's good, you know, it's good. Do you know I what you. Sting has done for the genre of reggae? <laughs> you should, though. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, who is up for it? Talking to Mike. Talking to Mike, Taylor, who is up for it? Taylor, you ain't never listened to none of them people. Yeah. Except for Spice. You're, do you know Spice, the band? Bob All right, Paul, hold on. Get, get on the mic, Taylor. Hold on, get on the mic. Come on, get on the mic. <laughs> get on the mic. Can you get on the mic? I'll ask you a question about the category. Please. Let's see if she ever <laughs> what you heard. Me. Did she hear anything up there? Taylor. <laughs> Last night's ceremony marked the third time a non-Jamaican artist has won Best Reggae Album. BET reports that this ensemble beat five Jamaican nominees. Sean Paul, Spice, Graham Morgan, Atana, and Jesse Royale. None of them was Jamaican, though. What are you talking about? Sean Paul and all of them are Jamaican. Crazy. I didn't know Sean Paul was Jamaican. Come I used on, to think though. he was from the Bronx. I used Chanda to think he was Puerto Rican from the Bronx, but he's definitely Jamaican. Oh, he is? Sean Paul. By the way, I've never heard this white group, but also, I don't care. It's the Grammys. Like, why do y'all still allow the Grammys to make y'all mad about things? Because, man. The Grammys does not, they've never the historically can, gotten it right. Like, yo, it's, the, it's literally like <laughs> running, it's literally your Charlie Brown and you're running to kick the football every year. It's the Grammys. It's the Grammys. You know what's so wild? A week ago, everybody was talking about boycotting the Grammys. Oh. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now, a week later, everybody's celebrating and mad because of who didn't win and this and that. It's like, make up y'all Don't fucking they do that mind. Every year, they want to boycott the Grammys every, every year. Every year. That's all I heard. <laughs> Only thing I know about the Grammys, they trying to if boycott they do it. a reggae. Uh, was it Grammy? Um, award. They do a red gay category. Why are y'all gonna put? Why are you gonna get a white? Because white people are nice. They at do red gay. Sting. Have you it ever? It doesn't matter. So you think they're in reggae. again? It's also deaf to the ears because why would you? You think they're better than the people that's Taylor? Not I've you? never heard we it. Got, we got hit a song. And neither of you. I've What's heard, your favorite no, spice song? I don't have a favorite spice song. What's the beat? You've never heard her music. Yes, I have. Name oh, the girl. 
Why do I have to name her? Spice is a girl. There's like four girls. No, it's, you talk about the Spice Girls. No, oh. this is a reggae artist. <laughs> yo, I hate you. Yo. No, stop I'm trying to. Do, what? 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 <laughs> I thought it was Taylor. Bro, I didn't know I've it was never heard reggae. any. Oh, I've never heard any of those people's projects. Not, not one. I, and you I, and I, you I, haven't heard of Sean Paul. You haven't heard of Spice. We're talking about the projects from this year. They're nominated for this music from this year. I'm small. I don't care. Even if it was bad, whatever, I'm just Royale. saying, I just feel like a real Jamaican show won it, not white. How do you know they're not real Jamaican? They're I don't not. even know these people. What makes someone a real Virginia. Jamaican, yo? What makes someone a real Jamaican? Oh, they said a third, yeah, they're non Jamaican artists. Actually. Yeah, but they're from Virginia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the soldiers of Jaws are made of champions of Jaws. You know what I would like for you to look up? It says it's the third time a non Jamaican artist has won. I want to know who the, the Let's other look two up are. The other two. I think Spice. one is Snoop, actually. Snoop? I think Snoop Lion won. Yeah, Snoop Lion. I think Snoop Lion yeah. won. And where was the energy for that when Snoop He's Lion? Black don't mean Jamaican. Jamaican. That's right. Every black person gets to be Jamaican. I, I think y'all got to stop with they these mad about social the media talking they points. Mad about the white boys social media tells people what to be mad at. I'm Ooh. telling you, yo. Yeah. I want somebody to write something for the Island Boys. I need the Island Boys to win this they category next year. Won. Sean the Paul should did it. Shout out to the Island Boys. Boy. That was the hottest reggae track of uh, the year, for sure. I'm yeah. an Island Boy. <laughs> Just trying to make it. Come on now. Yeah. Come I'm on now. Island Boy. Y'all got to stop letting social media make y'all mad. Yeah. I don't know any. This song is good. I I haven't even heard none of these people to the, the know if I should be mad at them. nominate Island Boy? Who? What? Snoop Lion definitely won one before. Yeah. And you didn't say shit, Taylor. I, and by the way, and if you ask me who should have won that category, I'm going to say Spice. You know why? Because I like Spice. I haven't heard the music, Who is though. Spice? Spice, uh, she's a Jamaican artist. She's on Love and Hip Hop. Oh, the light skin go with the dread. She's the definitely not light skin. Oh. Let me look. Oh, the dark skin one. Yes. Let me look her up. Yes. And Spice is, I've heard, I've heard Spice records but I don't know, you know. But she came with the light skinned girl at that time. She, she came did. with Shaggy. Oh shit! This guy is so <laughs> <laughs> Shaggy. This guy is. Well, oh whatever. Shaggy and Sean Ch- Ch- Paul, I thought was like kind of the same person. What? The Grammys was whack, bro. That's all <laughs> I know. Like there wasn't no moments, especially after last week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to top that. Yeah, somebody had okay, to do something. Okay, let's look below. You find a complete reggae character. Okay. So Toots and the Maytails, salute to them. Don't know who Soldier that is. Boy. Coffee Rapture, Sting and Shaggy 2018. You know what I mean? Sting is white, but they don't question Sting because they know that Sting really loves reggae. Damian Marley, Ziggy Marley, Morgan. I don't know who the non-reggae, who the non-reggae singers? Ziggy Marley, Ziggy Marley, Jimmy Cliff. I don't know. Who? Spice got a song called Inches. Are they Jamaican? <laughs> who? <Fire. laughs> that's Soldier Boy. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> we wouldn't even have noticed that category if people hadn't gotten mad about it on social media. Yeah. And if Spice would have won, which she probably should have, we wouldn't even have that much conversation around her winning the way we do around these white guys winning. We have to stop doing that. Why do we continuously do that? What is y'all's? Nothing is y'all's. This shit is silly. <laughs> I saw. Did you see what? We got to stop this, man. What the you Oscars mean? Is, I mean, the Grammys is not ours. What, it, what do you mean it doesn't have to be? See, nothing makes sense. This is what I'm talking all about. I'm saying, if you're going to have a black category, at least have a black person win. It's a reggae kind That's all category. I'm saying. Why is it a black category? It's a reggae category. It's music. Reggae is black to me. Reggae is music. Reggae's Sting black. is white. Reggae is Jamaican. Okay. There's and a the lot of white people. And the dude was white, too. There's a lot of... Who cares? No, I'm saying... I didn't know that. He was white. He performed, <laughs> was that snow? he performed at my Toronto show. <laughs> See what I'm he, saying? he told me back, he was like, I was the first mumble rapper. <laughs> See? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Snow was white. Snow is white, bro. Yeah, there could be... Fire! It's fire! fire. White people want to come into ours like they usually fire. do. I, would, I just want the record to show that they're not, they're not saying that it's a... If they're mad they're white. They're saying it's a non-Jamaican artist. That's what I think. Yeah, they had dreads. You, okay, well, you, I'm saying you got a twist. <laughs> I have an issue that. It's but you Jamaican. don't even listen to nobody else on there. You don't speak on Please, behalf of Jamaicans. You know? What song does Graham Morgan song. have? I don't know any of the names of the songs. Dance but don't song. tell me I don't know Spice or Sean Paul or Jesse. I'm talking about these projects from this year. Did you listen to Sean Paul's album that he's nominated for? Song by I Spice. Haven't. But I'm just saying. Name all one song by Spice. Is, all I want is just a black artist to win. They're black. How you think Who? we know that? Uh, Informer. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing. 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 I'm play
Come on, yo. Oh, no. <laughs> this shit is getting think goofy, no man. Yeah. We're not even having good arguments, I good debates no anymore. Ass. I'm just watching people just talk. I saw the game this week. Salute to my man, the game, man. What'd he say? The, the whole thing about Regina Hall, and he was trying to make the correlation between Regina Hall's LeBron James joke and Chris Rock and Jada's joke. And I'm just like, <laughs> Everybody just no. Got... What happened? I didn't see it. Pull, pull, pull it up. Pull it up. It was just pull it up. Pull it up. Informa. That's one of the greatest songs ever. He basically was no, saying that, not... you know, these writers at these award shows write for these people. Mm -hmm. And he said that, you know, sometimes you have white writers setting up you know, black talent. Oh, damn. Chris, uh, and Chris got set up? Chris Rock, that was a freestyle. Nobody wrote that joke for Chris. Mm. Okay? <laughs> this is what the game said. The game said, this is the same way they set up Chris Rock with pre-written content that I'm sure they knew would outrage Jada and Will. They didn't think Will would slap him for it, and that's where things get tricky because it backed Will Smith into a corner where he acted on impulse and had to defend his wife and make a decision that they are trying to crucify him for. I'm not personally shooting at Regina Hall and Wanda Sykes. I'm just saying, you see, they didn't let Amy Schumer read that line. Furthermore, it's cool to joke about us with us because we as black folk understand each other in that manner. It is only when it's pre-written and they're conspiring beforehand to once again use us against us for their own humor. Two things about that. Chris Rock joke wasn't pre-written. It was a freestyle. Uh -huh. Number two, we're assuming that the person who wrote Regina Hall's joke was white, right? Yeah. We don't know what color they were. But even if they were white, Regina Hall's a grown-ass woman. Yeah. She, she is the choice to not say it. Definitely. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love this conspiracy shit. Keep it going. Gang. I love <laughs> it. I love it. <laughs> Run with it. I love it. She said it because it was funny. And guess what? If LeBron James ever takes offense to people, you know, cracking on his hair, he has every right to. To do what? <laughs> to take offense. Yeah, if take he wants offense. To. But do, you can't take matters into your own hands. If he wants to, that's on him. He the one who stopped wearing the hair, the hair no. man. Just know that whoever he hit, if they smart, they suing for $100 oh, million. Oh, yeah, get the bread. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's not fair, bread. though, man. What's not fair? If you sit there and beat somebody and they smack the shit out that's of you. That's not beating. No, just talk some shit you. back. But who, some, some people can't crack. Well, that's on them. Oh. Learn how to crack. Learn how to fucking use your words. Yeah. I don't know how to do it. Use don't put your yourself in the front row of an award show where you know you're going to get made fun of. That's okay, right. You should Dude, stay in the back. You go yeah. on a water ride, you get wet, right? That's you right. You don't slap the shit out of the dude at Action Park. <laughs> that's good. That's a good one. And when you're, right? Like, that's right. You that's came there to get did. wet. That's put right. the fucking bathing suit on. And when you're a public figure like a LeBron James, you got to expect that comes with the territory. Yeah. The only difference is some people just don't have smoke for jokes. Yo. But guess what? Some people have all the smoke for jokes. <laughs> right they don't want to be cracked on. I can't do it. You can't do it, but then you're not a billionaire. If you're yeah. a billionaire, some shit's going to come with it. I'm sorry. You make a billion dollars, you don't get to do that. And nobody's yeah, okay. critical. I don't care about my still human. Yeah. Say what? You're still human. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> you're an idea at that point. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no. A billionaire is a an billionaire idea. A billionaire can get you whacked like, fast. Say what? he get you whacked fast. He'll get exactly. Exactly. Like, there's that's tons of saying. things you can so, do. I'm sure he'd still get upset if people fuck Ooh, with that's him. what we should talk about. We should talk about Elon Musk buying 9% uh, of Twitter. You see after, that? After tweeting about that how... Was fine. Even though we know the deal was probably in the works when he tweeted that. But after tweeting about the fact that, you know, is Twitter using their platform correctly, basically? He said, you got to look up the tweet because it's, it's fire. And yes, it was probably already in the works. But he goes, because uh, that motherfucker understands marketing. He goes, uh, he goes... Is do you think Twitter is uh, protecting freedom of speech accurately? And then uh, he puts a poll up, and he goes, "The answers to this poll will be incredibly important because oh. he's about to shell out nine billion dollars, whatever the fuck he did for it." Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's seven, like three billion. It was a it was three a nice billion. Little, little I mean, it was a big chunk of change. Yeah, for nine percent. Yeah, just enough to be on the board to tell y'all stop fucking having people talk crazy about me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you think that's what it was? Yes. Wow. But you know, by, by the way, I, I think it's the opposite. I, I, I think either he recognizes that people feel as if there's an unfair uh, you know, treatment when it comes to free speech, but he also understands the marketing that goes behind it. You know, like I think this is... And you also just want to have a say in the largest communication platform in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter yeah. is the biggest network in the world. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It's the biggest network in the world. That is like, true. There is nothing that is putting out more information every day on a daily basis yeah. than Twitter. It's the, uh, what is it, the, the not soapbox, next. but remember back it's in the, the day, soapbox. you go to no, Town Square, was yeah. that called a soapbox? I, I, it was, I know, yeah, you know what you mean. Yeah, I think yeah. you stand on the soapbox in the middle of Town Square. Is that it? Something yeah. like that, right? So what's and, next yeah. after Twitter? Instagram? In terms of like just getting like words out, I think it's obviously Twitter, right? Because it's just like news information. TikTok, thoughts. or is that the same TikTok, thing? TikTok, Instagram is more like cultural awareness, I think, and, and more I'm content. Say again? And I've been over it. Yeah. 
I mean, it's not for you. Like You're older. Years. You know what I mean? But we we say that, but everybody's old on it. Like, there, by the way, there's no demographics anymore. Ooh, interesting. It's not. I saw Gary Vee talking the other day. And they, the number he put about uh, t- uh, TikTok was crazy. Mm. Like the percentage of people over 50 on yeah. TikTok. Like yeah. there's no demographics anymore. We're talking about somebody like Elon Musk. He's over 50. Yeah. Think about the people that actually drive conversation the most on these platforms. The people that everybody ends up talking about. They're yeah. old. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Will Smith and Chris Rock have dominated the news for a week. They well over 50 years. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Elon uh, Musk just spent $3 billion on 9% of fucking Twitter. He's well yeah. over 50 years that's old. Huge. Maybe that's just like people who have a lot of power are old because it takes time to get make money. You said what? People who have a lot of power are old because it takes time to make money. Oh, yeah. And we react to like people in power, you know? I just don't like being on Twitter because I don't want nobody having no con- that control over my emotions. That shit is getting worse and worse and people don't realize it. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Like, I hate watching, like, I love Cardi B to death, but I hate watching her explain herself to they. Yeah. yeah. And y'all. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck is they the and y'all? y'all? But she needs with. to have an opinion. She gets antsy if she don't go out there and talk about it. It's one thing to have an opinion, but yeah. why are you explaining yourself to these yeah. people? Yeah. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Like, I saw a lot of get a up. DM from somebody calling her fat and everything else. She's like, I'm about to stop taking birth control Yikes. now because it's making my weight go up and because this one person got your DM you telling pregnant, you how fat you are. If you are. get pregnant, wow. you're going to get even bigger. Like, <laughs> and she's not even big. But if you get pregnant, you're going to be bigger. Keep that shit. I just don't understand why we allow these people to have that much control over our yeah. lives. That girl Lotto's fire, though. She's a phenomenal. Yeah, she she's really good. She's phenomenal. She's, she's yeah. dope. I like Lotto a lot. And yeah. she came up like she used to be on this reality show called The Rap Game. Uh, she won that, but decided not to take the deal because she felt like she would be in the position she's in now. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I don't see how somebody can have so much good going on and let one negative opinion on social media fuck with them that much. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of how our brains are designed, unfortunately. Yeah. Why? It's usually only one thing that Because when we were in the forest, we got to look. How am I the same? Tell me how I'm the same. Please, Taylor, tell me how I'm the same. Do tell. Why are you acting like you don't be checking the comments and I everything don't. else like that? You don't anymore. No. You were. When? And when I do, I like I like to laugh. You don't see me in here explaining shit. But you always talk about anxiety, right? So why are you acting like it's so crazy that these other celebrities have anxiety over looking at stuff that they're on? And I'm 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 giving That's them said, I'm giving them a page out of my book. He took. I'm Just giving remove exactly remove yourself from the remove things that make yourself. Yeah, Disconnect. but it's Please hard, especially this it. younger generation. You can't. No, it's not. Selena yeah. Gomez told y'all she ain't been on social media in four years. Mm-hmm. Told y'all like, that that's yesterday. One person. It's a lot of people that do yeah, that they, though. They, Everybody they don't need them. to be on social media. No, I'm not saying they more. don't, but don't act it's like they're not on it and everything else. Though. It's gonna be like cigarettes. I don't even know what you got on the mic to say. Thank God. It's gonna be like cigarettes where like everybody did it back in the day and we didn't realize it was bad for you, and then. If you're still now, doing crack like, cigarettes right now, do, you smell you cigarettes. You know, yeah. do I not say that on the? I say that all the time. I said that yeah. in ten years, yeah, we're going to realize the impacts of social media on the brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like think about the woman and uh, the 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 woman who's an aspiring doctor at Wake Forest, <laughs> right? So she had her name tag, and like somebody came in there busting her balls. Like somebody came in there, like, oh, he, she. What else is it supposed to be? What it? You know, What's she gets name? on Twitter. I can't remember her name right now. She gets on Twitter and tweets, had a guy come in here mocking me about my pronouns. So I I I missed I missed his vein the first time and then gave him another shot. So she's basically saying I injured this person on purpose. Yeah. Because I don't like that they mocked me. You gonna be was were. That's my point. <laughs> you know what the school you, you know what you know what you know what the school busting your ass to become a doctor. Yeah. Graduated in 2017. It's 2022. You're an aspiring doctor, and that's where your mind works. Yeah. Think about that. You're thinking about performing. You're more concerned about what people on social media think mm-hmm. than you do your actual profession. Oh man, I hate that. Mm-hmm. Shit. You're in the doctor's office by yourself. Nobody can see you. But in your mind, you're like, oh, I gotta get okay. Him back. Yeah. Boom. I'm gonna do this. Revenge. I'm gonna miss the Why would you brag about that? Because yeah. she cares more about the opinions of social media than she does yeah. about her own yeah. well fucking that, man. being, man. I mean, people, everybody needs to take a page out of that book. That's corny as hell. It's corny as fuck. Yeah. And I, it, it, it's, it's mind-boggling that people's minds even work like that. The yeah. fact that you wake up and your life does not have to be a reality show. No, mm. please. <laughs> like, yeah. Corny. Like, I need to share it. You know yeah. why? I think they need to know this. Yeah. For what? <laughs> That's not, yo, that's not wild to y'all, yo. Yeah. Get a podcast yeah. if you want that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Consolidate all your shit into <laughs> yeah. one day of the week, yeah. and it will work out perfect. <laughs> I don't even think you need to do that right now. No, everybody don't need a podcast. Yeah, everybody that's don't need a podcast. That, that, that's, that's another Slow fact. Down. But it's hard to say. It's hard for us to say that because we got successful podcasts. Yeah, but that's the first thing people say. Well, y'all got successful podcasts, and what? And what? We're great. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But there's something to that though yeah and that's why the cream will rise to the top always yeah. and listen i don't take nothing for granted i'm just simply saying man if i could pay into some of these social media sites and own some of it i'd shut a lot of y'all up <laughs> really mm-hmm. you wouldn't let me take no nah. you say that now yeah, that's true, because I can't do it. Exactly. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Second, I'm able to, man. You say that shit Your now. Your count's suspended. You say that shit now. Yeah. Let's, Let's pay, pay some bills, bills, man. Let me pee real quick. How are we being contradictive? Tell me, Taylor. Tell us. You, I want to know. No, get up. Taylor said we're being contradictive. I want to know how. Get on, I want to know. Just as a regular Because person. we're warning people about the dangers no, of social no, no, media? No, as they, no, I'm not, I'm not arguing with saying that mm-hmm. social media is not a problem. I'm just saying it's hard to say that to people that's in the limelight like, uh, what's her name? Doja Cat or Lotto or whatever like that. They're looking at, listen, like, this is how they got on for the most part, if you think about it. Yeah, because they grew up in that but era. that's what I'm saying. So it's hard for you to say, like, just get off of it and everything else when they grew up and got their celebrity. Let me ask you a question. If you was holding on to a hot iron, right? It's a hot iron and you're holding on to it. That shit burning the fuck out of your hand. What's the only way for that shit to stop burning your hand? I mean, like, oh, yeah. Same thing with social media. I know. I'm just saying it's easier said than done. That's I, I know, because this okay. shit is addictive as fuck because these people designed it that way. Like, they've had whistleblowers in Silicon Valley and whistleblowers in the nicotine business, the tobacco industry. When you listen to them talk, it sounds exactly the same. This shit is designed to keep you addicted. And we know this. That's why all I'm simply saying is, I see where the game's going. This shit has too much impact on people's well-being, emotional state, and decision-making. More importantly, when you're an aspiring doctor and you decide to not only miss this person's vein on purpose, stick them again so you can injure them, right? Wow. And then go on Twitter with it after yeah, all the crazy. work you put in for school? Yeah, it's crazy. Is that part's crazy. I'm just saying when it comes to other stuff, it's not, it's not easy. Because I, I see myself right doing decision, it. That's all. That's right all decisions. Well, like the, the people that's on social media, these are also fans of them that's going to the probably the They're concert. not really fans. That's yeah. the other thing. That's what me and Coyle Ray was talking about. That's what I was trying to explain to Coyle Ray. It's like they're not really fans. And I get what Coyle Ray said. A lot of want to see you hurt. Exactly. Coyle Ray says she feels like she has to, you go through them and like she gets input. I subscribe to what my daddy said. You're never as good as they say you are. You're never as bad as they say you are. Right? So mm-hmm. meaning all opinions don't matter. To me, when you're an artist, the real feedback is through ticket sales. The real feedback is through record sales. Because imagine the mind fuck. That, you, go on you, Twitter, you go on Twitter and you're trending because a bunch of people told you that you ain't shit, they hate you, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. But then that night you got a show. And it's 2,000, 3,000 people singing your songs word for That's word. That's what counts. That's what counts. No, of course. Yeah. But I think it's, um, I mean, that's all another story. Yeah. Let's pay some bills. Keeps. Uh, two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. Low-cost treatment started just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions, discreet packaging, and proven results. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast, okay? If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to receive your first month of treatment for free. Keeps, I can't lie, I feel like y'all a week late, okay? Y'all should have really been here last week, you know what I mean? After, during the whole alopecia conversation, okay? But there's still people suffering from alopecia this week. That's why mm-hmm. Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots is where you need to go to get your first month free. That's Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots. And got to salute the good people at Talkspace. Talkspace, y'all are so necessary, man. In these times, okay, these real turbulent, crazy times, having someone you trust and love to talk to is more important than ever. But even the best relationships can hit a few bumps in the road. We've all been there. 
All right, where you're feeling unheard, having the same arguments over and over, or just not knowing how to move forward. Talkspace gives you unlimited access to a licensed therapist so you can clear up the confusion and focus on what matters most, being the best person and partner you can be. Your struggles and challenges are unique. It's time to talk to someone who understands that whether you've been married for years, you're re-entering the dating scene, or you're just trying to get comfortable with being single, talking to a therapist can help. Talkspace even offers couples therapy so you can work on your relationship with your partner at your side. No relationship is perfect. But with the right tools and insight, your relationships can get stronger every day. It's 2022. Just kissing makeup isn't cutting it anymore, okay? So join Talkspace today and start the journey to happier, healthier relationships. Just visit Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month when you use promo code IDIOTS at sign up. That's $100 off at Talkspace.com, promo code IDIOTS. Now let's get back to the show. We got any church announcements, Wax? Yes, sir. Go to 106 in Columbus, man. Go pick up that Who's Wax over there, um, the flower, and also have the gummies over there. Go to the gummies, who's wax com. Go get your subscription. Bully and the Beast every Wednesday. And the Airsoft Wars is coming up very soon. 10 on 10, get your cross motion. Let's make it happen. Wax, uh, Schultz, you got church announcements? announcements? Um, <laughs> Radio City Music Hall. Yep. Thank you guys so much for selling out there. both shows, man. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate it. That's crazy. Definitely a dream of mine growing up in New York City to be able to perform there and do two shows is is just un- unreal, man. That, that's going to be fucking crazy. Both so. on the 16th? Yeah. So I'm super excited about about that. And then... Uh, What's the times? Uh, it's like maybe like 7.30 and 10 or something What's like that. What's the one to come to? What's the one to come to? Both. Yeah, both, man. You know, this You is, come in hot? Always, bro. I mean, you just let me say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. You know what it is. So, so yeah, that's incredible. And then I literally got total five more shows left on the Infamous Tour. So yeah. it's two in Radio City, then we're going to do one in Atlantic City, Definitely and then gone. two in Vancouver. When is the one we going to? We're You're going to Radio City, yeah. The 16th. So on the 16th. that's going to be fun. I'm excited for all that. So if you want to catch the uh, the tour, man, is Atlantic City and, and uh, Vancouver the only shows left outside of Radio City, man. So, <laughs> man, go get those tickets if there are any left. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the tour, and yeah, I'm super grateful. So, Wax, what you got? He did it. Um, did it uh, yeah. My church announcements are just, make sure you go get Find It to Mika uh, from Audible, you know, courtesy of SBH Productions. Um, thank you to everybody that's been downloading that. Uh, really, really, really Appreciate it. Now, uh, this just in. Remind, remember, we record this on Tuesdays. Uh, Tory Lanez was handcuffed in court and remanded to custody until he posts due bail of $350,000 in Megan Whoa. The Stallion felony assault case. Judge found him in violation of discovery, protective order, and personal contact order. What does that mean? I have no idea. I'm assuming because of the social media stuff. What does that, what do you mean? Like, like I guess, you know, uh, I, I don't know if he was tweeting at her or uh, uh, tweeting uh, about her, uh, tweeting uh, about the case on social media. I don't know. That's what I'm assuming. I haven't looked at any of the details. I thought it was looking like he was about to be vindicated. Like they didn't find any of the uh, his DNA on the gun or something like that. It could also possibly be that concert where they had a protective order, but he popped up at the concert and she was there. That also. was a while ago, though. Yeah, but, I mean, but that was last year. Yeah. And he'd been to court since then. Oh, they fuck. What was that? He came out in like a costume or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, look yeah. up some details. I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure it's because of the social media stuff. Interesting. Because once again, I don't know when we're going to realize the things you do online can get you fucked up offline. Mm. Literally. It's real life. Like, yeah. stop phone, saying it. We, got, as, we gotta stop call. saying Twitter's not real life. It is real life, people. It's a phone call. Okay? Exact like same thing. It's, it's a text it, message. It, exactly. Exactly. It's like a phone call. It's like writing a harassing letter. Like, yeah. And I'm just assuming that's what it is. Who knows? But man, leave well enough alone. Stop letting these people gash y'all the fuck up. You don't owe these people no explanation. The court of public opinion doesn't matter, especially if you're in the court of law. (laughs) If I am in the court of law or something, I can give a fuck about what y'all think in the court of public opinion. I got to beat this case. Period, man. Y'all better shut the fuck up. What is wrong with y'all? No, I want you to shut the fuck up for real. A California, let's scroll back up. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. But still, oh, like, a California state judge ruled Monday that Tory Lanez violated his screen order when he performed. I don't think that's the one from the day, though. I just saw I, somebody sent me the tweet. That's kind of I guess wild. it'll come out later. But did he do it or not? Yeah. I don't know. I, stop saying, we don't know that. Oh. I don't yeah. know. I don't know if he did I don't it. know. Oh. Why are you going to put a black man down? Oh. Why are you going to put a black man down? I never put He's her down. He's not putting a black woman down. He yeah. asked a simple question. Yeah. See there? That Twitter got you like that. All jokes aside, no, social media got her. I'm biased because I like Megan Stallion. Period. 
But how did it turn into a black woman thing? Yeah, you can't do that. No, he nah, didn't. I just he said, didn't. why are you going to put a black man in jail without him doing anything? He's literally, he, yeah. and he asked the question, did he that's do it? We don't, question. by the way, none of us know. Yeah. We don't know. Like, that's why you got to let things play out. Mm-hmm. And that's why the court of public opinion is so dangerous. Because how can you, be, imagine I'm a juror in 2022. How can you be an unbiased juror in 2022? Nah, it's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's an opinion everywhere. And explain yeah. what you're saying about that, because that's a really interesting point. Like, Back in the day when you used to be on juries, you couldn't watch no television. Yeah. You couldn't listen to the radio. You know the person. No, nothing. Because yeah. they didn't want you to know anything about the case, because they didn't want no outside influence to influence you as a juror. And that was before, obviously, social media. Way before social media. Yeah, now with social media. How? How could you possibly? Yeah, like, <laughs> like yeah, I'm I'm earplugs on and I'm glasses. On, yo. You're and not like, even being objective. You're not even listening to the evidence because you're you've already gotten most of your evidence from social media. Probably. That's right. Like even if you stay on the premises or they put you in a hotel or whatever like that, you're still gonna have your phone. Yes. Back in the day, they, what would they do? They take away your, the TV or something? Like how would they stop you from getting information? They all put you in this room. I, I That's really why you gotta don't. be in that room for. No, days. I'm saying like if the if the case is going on for months. Yeah, I don't know, man. Mm. Like I really, I don't know. I really don't know. They kind of take your whole life when you got to do it, too. That's why everybody hate that shit. You got to skip know, work and everything. Yeah. That's why people just go up and say they're racist. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, if you're going to do jury duty, they're like, do you think you could objectively do this case with Asian people? And they're like, I think they caused COVID. Yeah, listen, oh, there, is, there, there is nothing that makes me feel better <laughs> when you, you got no. jury duty. And when they say, has anybody in here ever been convicted of a felony? Yup. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're charging properly. What were you convicted of? Uh, assault and battery with intent to kill, pointing to present them a firearm, distribution of marijuana, possession of cocaine. You're already collecting your bags as you're doing it's it? Like, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> like, you got to go. I'm going, guys. Uh, good luck. Yeah, I got called for jury, jury duty recently. They didn't even call me in. Really? Yeah, me too. Nah, once yeah. I, I, they knew. Exactly. Yeah, like, that that yeah. There's nothing objective about him. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so, so when I see the paper, is. I just went like this. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want me. He got too much of an opinion. Um, go back to the Tiffany Cross thing, Taylor. I want I want What's the Tiffany to Cross thing? Because Tiffany said that white people, your people, should not have an opinion about the Will Smith Chris Rock. On what show? And her show, MSNBC Cross Connection. Oh. Let's hear it. Yep. For, um, you know, our, our, our white fellow countrymen as best I can. And really, truly, uh, black America, there is a commonality amongst us all. And if we went to a white person's home and it was their family dinner and we were sitting there at the table and the mother hauled off and slapped the father and everybody at that table has an opinion. You know, the sister is like, Mom, you always do this. And the brother is like, I can't believe you guys are doing this. And dad is like, you're terrible. If I weigh in as the guest in this home and I say, yeah, you guys are terrible. Everybody's like, I'm sorry. When did you get an opinion? Shut up lady you're right where'd you, where'd, where'd you, but it's you? not at you're not at someone's house they're also at they're in an event everybody's submitting to the event if this was at Will and Jada's house yeah sure behave yourself the Oscars are not Will and Jada's house I, but it, even last week I said what if it was a cookout in the backyard and we all playing around with each other he, this guy but said something about your wife but it wasn't it's, it's not still a your platform thing. it's a place it was the Oscars. So you're supposed to act different at a certain place and somebody disrespect you? Any way you disrespect me, I don't give a fuck where we at. I think you missed the point you. of what she was saying. She's saying that you shouldn't have an opinion if you're white. I understand because what you're saying. But also, regard, I'm having I mean, an disrespect opinion as a, disrespect. As, a, as a comedian. Like, yeah. First, yeah. It happened at the Oscars. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so the Oscars, wherever, so wherever the Oscars before, is white business. Let's yeah, be clear on get it. It, it yeah. is mainstream America business. Yeah. If you're the biggest, one of the biggest actors in the world and you slap one of the biggest comedians in the world at the everybody biggest was. award show in the world, everybody can have an opinion. Yeah, that's an yeah. actor what slapping are we a comedian. Yeah, you, know, you, know, you know what she's saying? He was actually at their house. It was, no, it was at the, it was right at the, the white people's, people's house. house. Yeah, and you, you, and you smacked somebody at the white people's house. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't a good bad thing. Take. I, I didn't understand it because... Oscars. Do you know how many Some, black people won Oscars? Somebody wrote that for her. Somebody wrote that for her. Do you know how many her. black people won Oscars? This year? Yes. I don't know. How many? Four. Two. Oh. Samuel Jackson. That was an honorary one. So I guess you can count that. Yeah. yeah. West Love and yeah. Will Smith. And Will Smith. Yeah. I thought it was four, but three. It was three. And then it was the Afro-Latino, uh, the, the Afro-Latino uh, woman who was in... Um, so it's four. Encanto. No, she wasn't in <laughs> She was in... <laughs> 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 she was in uh, West Side Story. Ah, uh, is that a, that's it, right? Yeah. yeah. What's that story? Two. Wait, she won the girl from West Side Story one. Yeah, the girl who wasn't invited, the best supporting actress. Oh no, 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 the friend. Okay. Yeah, she won. <laughs> she was, she was, I was wild. They didn't invite Shorty, who was the lead of the movie. 
Ariana DeBose, DeBose. Salute, salute to her. Right. My point is, the Oscars are still so white. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't care who's producing it. Salute to Will Packer and Shale and all that. It's still so white. How many awards like, got put out all night? A lot. But two black people won. Like, that's just... Everybody can have an opinion. But that's and, the biggest news, though. And everybody can Maybe have an we're opinion. we're just better at acting, guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got to pretend you, every you, day. You know, you know what they call actors? Not racist, liars. You know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know how hard it is to pretend. I don't see color and all these other things that we invent. You know? We're just really good honey, at acting, honey, it's guys. okay if you bring wax yeah, on. Yeah. Bullshit. The police treat everyone the same. You know? I don't <laughs> see color. Yeah. Shut the no, they, fuck they, they up. You see my Tim's motherfucker? There is something to that, though. There is something to that. Because I know you see what the fuck is going on you gotta see stop you gotta see do we maybe no maybe not no you're right do we some people be in their bubble so much I'm serious nah you never know fuck that well you need to bust your bubble bro you never know (laughs) listen you'll be shocked at how much George Floyd opened up a lot of people's eyes yeah so whatever I hear what you're saying but whatever. what else we got Taylor what we got the shit you won't care about next week oh Will Smith resigned from the academy not even the Will Smith resigning the uh um, oh, how do you feel about Gerard Carmichael coming out as gay? And, he did that already. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to ask mean, you. who didn't know that? Yeah, he did that. He did that on the home video special. He told his mom he was in the kitchen and he was, this is why I hate this world we live in, man. He was in the kitchen and he goes, yo, I hooked up with dudes every now and then. His mom like, okay. Mm. Right? And, and she knew too. And the mama end, know her son. And then he came on Breakfast Club and talked about it, but I guess it's a difference between saying that and just actually saying, hey, I'm gay. You know what yeah, I mean? I yeah, don't yeah. I could care less. Our guy said something funny. He's like, uh, he goes, uh, you think when you came out as bi, that didn't make you gay to us? <laughs> That's all I see. Yeah. Nobody care about the girl. Part. By the way, I love, I, I like Gerard as a person. I like his monologue too, on man. SNL yeah, better. I, mean, he's funny. I yeah. thought what he said was real true. And Gerard was like, I got to be the least famous host in SNL history. That's how I like did. Funny. No, man. Gerard, uh, oh. Gerard is interesting to me because um, he shows you how much the game has changed. And mm. what I mean by that is Gerard is a person who, in the 90s, that kit, meaning sitcom, HBO special, mm. you're out of here. Yeah. You know Guaran- what I'm saying? Guaranteed. But he always, he still has had a like a, a, mm. a air of like, and, and, and I'm, I'm trying to pronounce this word, it's in my mind. Anonymous? Anonymity? It's such a hard word to say. Anonymity. Anonymity. There you go. Anonymity. I, I, I heard that on Nemo. There you yeah. go. So it's like there, like there's, there's mad people in the culture who haven't done those things, haven't been in the big movies, haven't been, you know, uh, haven't had the HBO specials, you know, uh, haven't had the sitcoms, but they're way bigger. Yeah. Culturally. Yeah, because YouTube is king, bro. I, I, that's a, you know, so he's, he's, he's always been so interested in me because of that. You can't wow. be famous if you're not on YouTube. Wow. Andrew Waxton. <laughs> nah, this is crazy. That, that right there, I've already bro. seen this, what I'm saying. That that's right cool. there. Why nah. your glasses crooked? It's so corny. instead of Andrew Jackson, Andrew Waxon? That's fire. Now yeah, you just catching that. You yeah. didn't mean it. Nah, because you <laughs> said it out loud. And every time I hear Andrew. But the visual is right there. Yeah, but Andrew's oh. my name. So I'm like, how do I fit into all this? Go yeah. back to the Tory Lanez thing you had up, Taylor. Because yeah. they, they said what he got. Uh, okay, Judge David Hereford heard nearly an hour of argument about Lane's tweets and said some seem to be clear messages to make. And see the tweets. He added new condition to Lane's release that he's not to mention the complaining witness in this case in any social media trial date set for 914. That stinks, though. You know, you know what stinks is the fact that a judge had to tell him that. Yeah. Like, come on, man. man. You, you know what you're up against. Way. You know what you're facing. Like, stop. I'm telling y'all, please, man, if y'all ain't never listened to y'all Uncle Charles about anything, stop worrying about that court of public opinion. That is social media. Please. Mm. Them motherfuckers do not care about they you in no fan. way, shape, they or form. They're trying to fuck with you, man. That's corny they, as Exactly. They're, they, they're not your fans. Nope. They're not your enemies. Only they don't they give a shit. Do you think they he's trying verse. to control his narrative at all or no? Maybe what does it did. matter? Well, because now. of everybody saying that you shot a woman and you didn't do it. It's the the court. If, listen, if if what if if the court of law can it's prove involved, I didn't do it, that's all I care about. Yeah, it. but in the meantime, it's like you're gonna you stop making shit. money. You gotta, no, you, you gotta, gotta eat shit. Shut the fuck up. I don't know if I I show you, you got court, to. Boy, Sometimes I'm you got to. You got to fight. I think you got to fight because once people decide who you are, it's hard for them to undecide it. And Louis C.K. is a perfect example of that. Like 
everybody just decided what he did was what he did. Or what they said he did is what he did. And then he didn't come out and refute it all. And then years later, people are still upset about the Grammy. If he was like, yo, that's bullshit. They're lying on me and they're misrepresenting this story. If he did that loud from the beginning, I think, go, have- I think Tory's actually better now that he didn't stop his life at all. Kept pushing, kept an eye at the whole yeah, time, kept making quiet, music. Though. I didn't say stop your life. I'm just saying, like, be quiet. there's nothing to talk about in regards to that case because none of those people are jurors. You know what I'm saying? None of those people are deciding your fate in a court of law. So who are you trying to prove this stuff to? Mm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, I hate know, to say it, but sometimes... Live your life, but stay out the way of this case. Yeah. yeah. Charlotte, when that incident happened, everybody was on some, like, fuck Tory shit. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. So until he started speaking out and, like, changing people's opinion like wait maybe he didn't do yeah, it exactly now it's like okay i can even that. listen to his In music but before cases, you didn't this, want to support happens, him uh, I, I think you got to control your narrative bro this is yeah. what happens though when you're trying to control your narrative what changed the narrative more than anything and i don't even know if this stuff is true is when people started leaking things from the case right mm. so when academics put out that tweet and academics was like his dna wasn't found on the gun Mm-hmm. That's when people really started to be like, "Well, goddamn, yep, yeah, maybe he didn't no. do this." No, yeah, I, I think even I, even before he, that the album, the album, not really, not to me, because they're still so sketchy. It was even with the album to me, I was like, "Why are you making songs about this? If mm-hmm. you're not going to tell us exactly what yeah, happened, get out the way. don't say nothing." Please. Let things play out in the court of, in court of law. No, I, I think you got to fight for your identity, man. You got to fight for your narrative. That's just me. Not, not when it's already in the court, and it I'm only take you. a year. You got Sometimes you got to eat shit for a year. Eat shit for nah, a year. Because they stretching it out. And then Let once them do everybody it. already believes it, nah. And guess I, I what? Disagree. If it's if it's fake and it's not real and you beat it in the court of law, that's what counts. Now you go crazy. Yeah, mm. now you can do whatever you want. This shit ain't going nowhere. Mm. <laughs> like, now you're getting yourself in trouble in the process. Oh, I hear what you're saying. When it's in the court of law, that's going to define your fate no matter what. Yes. If people just like are making accusations, but it never goes to the courts, you got to fight for who you are. Oh, yeah, there different. you go. Now uh, you do that. Uh, yes. uh, yeah, yeah. 100%. I think I understand what they're saying more. If you know you're innocent, you could be silent because you know you're going to be right. liberated. I got, and then I got, I got everything something in the that background. everybody says, now you I go in the bang on them. Yes. That's right. Eat shit. That's right. Yes. Literally. Okay, I got you. That's I got right. you. I got you. Yeah. Right. That's right. I got you. It's like you got a backup plan. Like, I, you know, hey, man. I wish him the best. Louis shit didn't go to court. So he had to fight for it his narrative. Yeah, she said. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't really fight for it, though. Did he admit no, to it? No, he didn't. I thought he admitted to it. No, no, no. He, he, did? he, he didn't admit to what people think he did. He described what happened. But mm-hmm. that's the difference is if you apologize in people's minds, you apologize for what they think you did, not for what you said you did. Yeah, because you know no, nobody's really paying attention. Exactly. They're not yeah. paying attention to the details. They just yeah, hear the yeah, wildest yeah, yeah, story yeah. possible and they go, oh, I guess he apologized for that. Yeah, he is that yeah. person. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, that's why you don't just apologize for anything. Fuck exactly. that. Exactly. If you ain't do it, fuck you. Mm-hmm. I ain't do it. You're never going to hear it come out of nope. my mouth. And, and, and I don't the sad give a fuck. part about it is, too, man, it's like, yo, you're explaining the thing. You're explaining things to people who are who are committed to misunderstanding you. Mm. They don't want they don't want you to be in. Hundred percent. They like. Yeah. They like, like that you're like, like literally everything yeah. can be yeah. there. It can all be on the table. Nope. It can be. It can be all be on the table. Like, okay, this don't add up. That don't add up. This says nope. this. That says that. And nope. they still will be like, nope. He is what that's they say. They, they, they don't want justice. They want vengeance. They want vengeance because they don't mm. like you. you. They don't Period. exactly. This they is just like another you. convenient yeah. thing to shit on you. That's right. Yep. Yeah. That's right. It could have been anything. They could have said you farted. He did. That, he did it. And that's yeah. why. And that's why I love Cardi. But it's like yo, you're explaining things to people who don't like you. You never gonna win them over. Never. Never gonna win them over. Every time they see you post culture with the fly outfits on and the jury, they don't like that. You know what I mean? When they see you pull up in your cars, they don't like that. Yeah. They see you with your husband living the life. They don't like you. They hate that shit. Hate you being happy. The they more do. happy you are, the more people hate you. Real talk. Just so stay out the way. Yeah. Let's pay some bills, man. I thought you was working out, man. Who? You. Yeah. My shit. Right, right. Shit. And I'm going up. I, I'm going up to come down. I don't know, man. All right, guys. We're going to take a break for a second because I got to tell you who this podcast is brought to you by in it's Squarespace, okay? If you have a business, you need a place for it online. Yes. And Squarespace is going to help you out. They are the number one platform on the planet for websites hosting, and all that good stuff. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with beautiful websites, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content that you create, and even your time, okay? I'm telling you, this is absolutely crucial for your business. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content uh, and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business. 
and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. So stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns, collect email subscribers, and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying a Uh, your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics, make sure that you can measure the impact of every send. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from when you analyze that data so you can hit people more effectively. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords and most popular products and content. So head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code IDIOT to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash IDIOT with the offer code IDIOT for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. That's right. Um, I'm going up in weight too, though. I'm going up to come down. I'm yeah. at like 191 right now. That's what you want to do? Yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm doing it. I didn't gain like three pounds of muscle. You're lying. No. Oh, I'm telling you. So when you start shredding, you'll see. You'll see, salute the perm, salute the tone. Hey, I want to salute, salute to this shit here too, man. This shit right here. Why is, is that it? good? What? Is and I don't even, you know, I don't even mess with sports drinks like that. But this oh, shit yeah. right here, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Carviva, Carviva. This shit right here. Why is it so good? Because it's got antioxidants in it and collagen and electrolytes, and it helps to hydrate and replenish. And it is this one right here is forty percent juice, but some of them have. Like 75% juice. Look at the calories. It's 45 calories. Which is like energy drink? Uh, yeah, energy it's like an energy drink. Word up. So it's like... Like Monster? Or like... I mean, uh, yeah, but it's healthy. Energy. Does it make you shake at all? The energy no, drink sometimes makes you shake. No, at all. That's You're my like point. Power energy That's, give you a headache. Like I do this shit, but this shit, I used to do like green tea. This shit way better. Like mm, for energy? Mm, 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 yeah. mm, I never took for energy Look, at all, but vitamins. 45 calories per serving. Look, 0% fat, 0% cholesterol, 1% sodium, 4% carbohydrates, 0%, uh, 2% protein. This shit, man. How much Adderall? <laughs> <laughs> it's just all juice. This shit is good. <laughs> Something got to make you So it's called Carviva? Carviva, Carviva. Salute to Carviva, Carviva. They come in mad different flavors. The one I'm drinking right now is Bullberry Lemonade. But y'all, y'all know, y'all don't even, all I do is water. But this shit right here, this shit is addictive. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's do some um, Ask an Idiot's Taylor. Okay. Uh, Bert353 says, what advice can you guys give to someone that feels stuck in life at the moment? Mm. Find your passion, bro. Find what you enjoy doing. Right. Not what you are distracted by, but what you truly enjoy doing. And Close your eyes and run. If you lean into wall, that you, shit. It's supposed bro. to happen. Yeah, Bert, I need, more, I need more context to your question. And the reason I need more context to your question is because, like, what has you feeling stuck? Because if you tell me that what has you feeling stuck is watching what everybody else is doing mm. and you're not necessarily <laughs> doing it. That's mm. not a reason to be stuck because you yeah. might really be exactly where you're supposed to be. Uh, you know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. people be saying stuck and they be at a nice job. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Sometimes people be saying that they stuck and they're in a position that they should be in. They're just not utilizing that position to their fullest potential because they're so worried about what everybody else is doing yeah. and paying attention to what, what's, what's on everybody else's right, plate while they food well. getting cold. But sometimes yeah. I feel like when you're really uh, happy or, or passionate about the thing, when you're really passionate about the thing you're working on, you're not as concerned yeah, with the money at all. It's just come anyway. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So like finding that thing, I was talking to Gary Vee about this. We had him on Flagrant and, you know, he's such a passionate fucking guy and he gives this great advice about how people can, you know, get their life on point or like change things up, start making more money, et cetera. And one of the things I told him on the pod, I was like, Gary, I think that like you can hustle for so long and it's easy for you because you love what you do. Yeah. So the time doesn't bother you. Like He loves the game. He That is his passion. Yeah. So like, whereas somebody else, if they were going to go, they they would like to make more money than the current job they're at where they're going to the garage sales and that kind of stuff and the things that, that Gary says they can make money quicker and like really kind of be their own boss but they might not have the same passion. Gary is like in love with what he does. And I relate to that. I'm in love with this shit. So I could work 80 hours a week and it's nothing me because it's 80 hours doing what I love. Same. I love doing radio. I love doing podcasts. I love writing books. I love publishing podcasts. I love publishing books. Mm. Like I love creating Mm. content. Like 
that's what I like to do. I like investing in new talent. Like, that's what I like to do. Like, yeah. So it's not... It don't feel like work to No, you. not yeah. at all. So maybe maybe it's finding the thing that you really love doing. And then once you love doing that, you will be able to hustle an unbelievable amount of time. Like, yeah. it, it's, it's easy for you. You wake up, you go to sleep thinking about it, you wake up thinking about it. There's... I will say comparison is the thief of joy, too, though. Yeah, that the is one so thing true. we never see Gary V do is compare himself to anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one Gary motherfucking. Yeah, and he speaks is. on that. He's like, yeah. stop being so worried what all these people do. That's right. Are you just doing it so you could beat them? Then it's not your passion. Yeah. Then you're just competitive. If you're oh. just doing it so you could beat these motherfuckers, you're just competitive. You could be passionate and competitive. Those both can work. But would you do this shit no matter what? Yeah. yeah. Do you love the Free, game? No money. Exactly. Yeah. And, and we've done it for no money. You know what else is interesting about what you're saying, too? It's about intention, too, right? Because I remember back in 98, 99, when I first started in radio, and I said, I want to be the biggest radio personality in the world. And then that evolved to, I want to be the biggest multimedia personality in the world. Then it's, I want to be the biggest multimedia mogul in the world. But, like, that's not really an intention. Mm. That's just saying something you want to do. Yep. So you may do it, yeah. but what's the intention behind yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's why? the competitiveness. The why yeah. is the love. Why yeah, yeah. do you want to be the biggest multimedia mogul ah. in the game? And why do you think? Because I like I, I like the I like the power of putting other people on. Ah. It's, and, it's literally yeah. that simple for me. Ah, I like the I like to be able to empower other people. Yeah. That's the dopest shit to me. Like I love that's why when I see like what Robert Smith do with philanthropy or when you can be like Clarence Avon and just snap your fingers and get something done for somebody. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I like that shit. That mm -hmm. shit is like, mm. especially when it's things that nobody's willing to take a chance on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like that's, that's what I like the most. Like, yeah, that's what we should all be using our platforms for. And when you, you know, connecting with people and empowering people who actually got something to say. Yeah. Something that can make people actually better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I feel like for so long in our culture, you know, especially hip hop, we've put ourselves in boxes for no reason. Mm. Like who says, you know, a guy in hip hop can't be a mental health advocate? Who says yeah, yeah. a guy in, who, who says the Breakfast Club can't have Bishop T.D. Jakes on one day and Kodak Black the next? Who the fuck said, that? Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, why not? And that's why, I mean, it's, it's certain platforms that, Certain platforms that get it, certain platforms that don't. That's why. That's why I like Rogan. Rogan gets it. Yeah, like that. You know, in, in an organic way. In yeah. an organic. I'm just curious about the world way. Let's yeah. talk to interesting people. Yeah. People that inspire me on whatever level. It don't matter. Like, yeah. yeah but you goddamn right. I listen to Tony Robbins. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, why yeah. wouldn't I? Yeah. You know. So, yeah, that's it for me. I like that. Um. What else we got? Uh, what we got, Taylor? If you uh, could choose from... Oh, God. This is such a thing. Why y'all ask these questions? Biggs, 1904. If you could choose from having a longer life or longer dick, which one Which one you going with? Yeah. Well, it depends on who you ask it. Yeah, like, like if you already got good dick, you yeah, got like you longer want a life. Long life. Yeah, you got a little I'm, meat, yeah, you going to be like, I want a longer yeah, dick. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because your life ain't good, you got a little meat. The life already shit. short. Yeah, but yeah. they're not all <laughs> <laughs> Life ain't shit. That's a trick question, though. You got to read the details of that one, man. Okay. Yeah, talk to me. He's just talking about length. Ain't no girth with that deal. Ooh. Yeah, girls ain't worried about no girth. You just can't put it in that you good. crazy, you, man. Once you get in there, it's like, all right, she like, hit the wall in the back. Yeah. So you better girl wants this. Imagine your penis ain't, ain't like Ain't this. about, ain't yeah. about being skinny. Just like this. Yeah. Ain't about being skinny, but I mean, you want both, but you don't want just girth. Like, yeah. Yeah, it might be but hard to put it in that beginning. You want both. Give me some length and yeah. some girth. You don't want this. Yeah, you want the... Imagine just having yeah. length with no girth. Yeah, that's a little crazy. Uh, what you want to do with that? It would hurt. It'd be sharp. That's a magic wand, bro. Just yeah. abracadabra every time you jump in the pussy. <laughs> I do it. Make sure I don't get no STD. What? You try to make it STD disappear with nah, abracadabra? I'm just saying. I, with the, I pray over it anyway. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, pray over everything. Uh, oh, this is a good one. I saw Joe Rogan talking about this one. Andrew run for president in 2024. I will be the president in 2024. Okay, I like that. Yeah, simple answer. Yeah, that's cool. I'd vote for Andrew. I'd definitely vote for you. There's no you way know, I, I, said I, I don't want no more celebrities as president. I'd vote for Andrew. I'm not I'd a celebrity. I'm a man you. of the people. 
Either way, I still Andrew, vote for I would yeah. definitely I'm gonna run for president. For I, I don't want to be president, but I do want to hit that debate. But what if you do what Trump did? I don't think Trump even knew he's going away. He just Yo, did Andrew it and put it out there. Fire. Yeah, the no debates. notes, no nothing. Nothing, bro. <laughs> Let's just go. How, yo, how much photo that day? What are we going to do about the Middle East? I don't know, but that motherfucker dressed crazy. And just, start, <laughs> just start killing everybody on the stage. Tell me that wouldn't be worth it. Just get me to the debates. Nah, I think, no, I'm going to tell you something, Andrew. I'm not even joking when I say this. I think you would kill more actually flex, flexing your, your, your political muscle. Ah. I really do. I think that you could really have some I think, real I think, debates. I think you would change no, some I really things. I think you change some debates, And I think you could bring some real issues to the table. Maybe. Yes. And still I mean, be funny with it. This, is, this I, I just, honestly, I don't think being president is hard. <laughs> I agree with you. You I hire the smartest people in the <laughs> world. You have, you. you have access to the no, smartest people on the whole planet. Yes. Being president of like a third world country is fucking difficult, dude. Like people are trying to take you out. There's different people that are trying to like mm -hmm. take over. You got Secret Service. Yeah, you got you don't know who you can trust, who you don't. Your whole family. You know, can you know get where you're going to live at. You got to be house. really terrible to fuck up America. Son, America, you can hire <laughs> the <laughs> smartest people in the whole world. <laughs> tell you the best decision to make. <laughs> make a decision. They got GPS. Son, what the fuck? I mean, yeah, I do that for a living, and they're yeah, way better than the ones that we get. Yeah, nah, it's even funnier. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just hang out, write some jokes, talk that shit. I would love that. Would so, you get hit in the White House? Say again? Oh, yeah, you're married. I'm married, bro. Yeah. I would love that. And Bill Clinton was too. Charlamagne, why are you voting for Andrew in 2024? Yeah. Why are you voting for Andrew, Charlamagne? You said you didn't want the most celebrities in the White House. Yeah, but you didn't say it was going to be my friend. Yeah, yes, come on. It's Andrew. Andrew. He's talking about <laughs> my celebrities. It's okay. I am voting my interest. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, imagine the pressure on me. Why? Just Why? every week we're still doing brilliant idiots. You're like, black people need some shit, show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we own your I, don't, I don't stop any of the pods. Yeah. <laughs> we do the pods every single week. Still. That'd be fire. Yes. The That'd be fire. Yeah. What do you mean? Right. Why wouldn't you do that? What else I got to do? That's how you connect the yeah, people. The Why not? Yeah. Do shit. Come on, bro. Let's be, this president is easy. I, I mean, listen, there's, I no the way, there's no way they do shit. You know what I mean? Y'all Yo, would come. Y'all would be in the cabinet, though, right? I'm, you got to put me yeah, somewhere. What the me. fuck? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, Of course. I mean, head of security. CIA. No. <laughs> 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 Only three letters you get is WAX, bro. No, I want to with that. No, no, I wanna, what, what was Kushner? I want to be what Kushner was. Chief See, advisor? Something? Yeah, yeah, like, because, yeah, 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 yeah. I need, I need something. Yeah, yeah. What would you do? Chief advisor. You want to you have, like, uh, no, he was, was he foreign? He did foreign. Like nah, I don't need, want to do foreign. No, no, you need to do like, you need to be Let like, Duval do foreign affairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he likes to travel. No, no for real. <laughs> Let Duval. No, no Charlotte's got to be like the puppet master. I keep the police Charlotte's quiet. like the real like idea guy. Charlotte's like the real like marketing guy. What like, is that in the White I'll House? I just go up there and say the shit. I'll say it, but you got to, you got to handle the strings. Yeah. That's vice president. No, it's not. No. Vice president ain't got no power. Vice doesn't do nothing. What are you talking about? But but you, you got to be, who? Yeah, who's the motherfucker that they got out of here, but he was Trump's guy? Oh, um, oh you talk about Pan, uh, Pan, Banner. Pan, 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 yeah, Pan, Bannon, 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 Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon. Yeah, something like that. David Banner. <laughs> all right, man. As always, <laughs> as always, if you listen to the podcast, you think we're smart. You think all, we're my whole agenda is everything for black people, like white people. We're listen, not even talking about it. In there. Black people got reparations within the first month. <laughs> oh, all day long. Like, who is the guy pulling the strings behind him? Everybody oh, no, got no, no Tim's. The whole security <laughs> staff got Tim's on. The Capitol <laughs> Moose is Monk's Corner, South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> who is he? Oh, man. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.